DZRJ 810 AM, the voice of the Philippines proudly brings you Equal Justice. Find out the hottest legal issues of the week and hear the analysis. And now, here are your hosts, Attorney Ador Tolentino. Yes to peace, no to BBS. Facebook, yes. Facebook, Facebook. Okay, if you want to follow. Attorney June Kicho. The, the, kailangan ano ba yun? Comfort level eh. Exactly. Right. Right. And attorney Tiki Tabuhara. Vice President Dita, eh, pati si Pinoy, eh, pati si Executive Secretary. Chief. All right, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon to my co host, attorney June Kicho. Hi, good afternoon, Ador. Yes, and good afternoon, Tiki. Where are you? Yeah, <laughs> Tiki is. Uh, like uh, in computer right now, I, I cannot uh, oh, seem to okay. get the hold of him. Uh-huh. I should have to text him for the first time. Yeah, uh, the signs of thinking. being in love. Yeah. <laughs> Even lawyers fall in love. No, <laughs> baka nasa get away siya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, thank you. I hope you're visa. tuning in and uh, you're safe. Yeah, yun lang naman ang importante sa atin. I hope you're safe. Yeah. Because or you might the... be enjoying his new house. Oh, yeah, possibly, yeah. possibly. Because he said he will uh, move to his uh, new house somewhere yes. near the city hall in Quezon City. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, uh, <laughs> birthday na niya. <laughs> Malapit na yun. Oh, anyway, yeah. uh, uh, incidentally, nag birthday si ano, uh, Alain, our uh, Oh, yeah, our technical guy. Uh, yes. Uh, Just, uh, may uh, ba uh, Alain. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Magpapakit daw siya mamaya. Yes, yeah, yes. Hindi tayo kapit. Anyways, um like uh, we what we committed last uh, a few episodes back, you know, we, we, we make available our, our uh, uh, radio program yes. uh, to a continuing series of discussion on uh, the presidential laws. And uh, this week uh, we uh, know that there is already an or- oral argument. Yeah, it's okay. going on. Yes. Actually, uh, they they've had the first oral argument, and then they're, they're, they're they there will be another one next week. Yes, yes, yes. yes. But and, a lot uh, of things this, have already happened. Exactly, a lot of words have already been said about 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 you know about uh, Grace Paul. Yeah, yeah, so this is all about Grace Paul, of course, and yeah. it's very very important that we uh, uh, take a close look uh, yes. at what uh, what is happening right yes. now and uh, uh, how we probably uh, expect the yeah. uh, Supreme Court yeah. to decide actually, the issue. Actually, not if uh, this is not only for uh, the, the importance of this case is not only about. Um, it's not only about elections and who who who, who we're going to vote for. Mm-hmm. The, the importance, I think, is that the Supreme Court is now faced with a question, very novel, novel question. That's true. And that is, can a founding become president of the Philippines? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Considering that the citizenship of a founding is always in question. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, because. Uh, uh, as we have clarified uh, in uh, the, the first years of our discussion before that, um, being a foundling, you know, it, it is hard under our uh, present yes. set uh, of uh, laws right now, even our constitution, to uh, presume, okay, to presume that yeah. uh, uh, she is a natural-born yeah. citizen because we follow the U.S. Uh, yeah. uh principle, yeah. Yeah, meaning. Uh, you have to establish. Uh, you follow your the citizenship. Yes, yeah, citizenship or parents. the blood, uh, yeah. your blood relation to your uh, parent. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. If you are a uh, daughter or a child of yeah. a Filipino uh, uh, parent, then yeah, especially father, of course, yes. you are automatically a yeah. natural born. And when you are uh, born to a Filipino mother, yes. uh, you must elect yes. your. Uh, uh, yeah. Citizenship when you reach yeah. there. And, and, and one thing I adore about that is that uh, while there is a provision in the Constitution, uh, there are a lot of questions being raised on the meets and bounds of the applicability, of the application of this, of, of the parameters, right? Of the application of this, uh, of this constitutional provision. That means mm. to say that this case is not only going to be decided. On 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 uh, on uh, on rigid uh, letters of the law, right. or legal or, or legal base, but also on matters of justice. Of, of, of yes, um, of justice. Remember that uh, that under the law, 
our courts are not only courts of law, they are also courts of justice. Of course, uh, yes, as, as uh, they are also courts yes. of equity, right? Yes, yes. And uh, therefore, and that really gives meaning to, to, mm. to time and again. No, but marami naman cases na ganyan sa na, na hindi very hindi very uh, on all fours mm. ikaga yung 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 uh, Yung provisions right. of atas, and therefore the courts will have to apply principles of justice in making uh, its decisions. Yes. Uh, so uh, I think this is one of them, and yes. this is very exciting because this is not only a legal or or or, or justice issue. Mm -hmm. It is a very political one. It is. It is. That's, that's why. Uh, one of the justices, the youngest justice, uh, uh, actually in uh, the Supreme Court, uh, Justice Leone, uh, former professor, our former pro uh, professor in the UP College. Was he your teacher also? Yeah, he uh, was my teacher in uh, um, indigenous ethics. law. Uh, uh, indigenous law. Yeah, he was yeah, my, he was my teacher, teacher in legal ethics. And he, he, his words actually are circulating in the social yeah, media. Yeah. And uh, this uh, quoted uh, statement from him seems to provide a humanized uh, yes. view yes. of the problem uh, yeah. of uh, yes. Grace Poe. Yeah. And let me quote, you know, what's going around uh, in the social uh, uh, media. Uh, open quote, we are here not as legalists, yes. we are here as justices, correct? Root word is not legal, but it is just, meaning to do justice in accordance with law. This court should first evolve a doctrine that we should allow first the people to decide and then we become the final arbiter should there be a contest. Yeah, that, so, that has always been the line of uh, the line of uh, of uh, the line of argument of past uh, of the, in the past. Mm, uh, of course, just in law with this with the court. Right. But but I, I, I truly truly agree with him. Mm -hmm. yeah? I, I think, uh, and I think, uh, and there was a point there when he said that you cannot blame Grace Poe for being a founder. Yeah, uh, you know that, that kind of argument actually is uh, it's like uh, um, hitting uh, everyone's heart. Yes. Because, uh, yeah. Why would a foundling uh, suffer uh, something that uh, uh, it is not his yeah. or her own uh, yeah. and, uh, doing in the yeah. first place? Somebody not, wanted to be. To be you know, born a family. You, you know what 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 what, what, what runs in my mind when you when you when when, when people tell you know people like Grace Paul how mm. this in for uh in, in general to hey find your parents before I uh, know before you you retrace your history mm. find your parents before you before we can uh, even call you a Filipino uh, uh, um, a, a, what what you call that uh, a national born Filipino you know what what runs in my mind is mm. like you know it's like you know. Uh, uh, trying a rape case. Okay. You know, when you when you ask the woman, the victim, how she was raped. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, and it's it's so painful. You yes, know? Yes, it's it not is, like it as if he was gonna be very sensitive. Yeah. Yes. You, know, you know how 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 hard it is, no? For 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 all those years, graceful. Hindi naman mo masasabi na she was not suffering because she was she was ano she was, she was abandoned or she was given away. It's it's always difficult for a child. Of course, I'm not one. I will ha probably not fully understand, you know, the, the or fathom the the the, the pain yes, of yes. being abandoned, especially knowing that you were abandoned by your parents. But you know, right. Uh, Ang hirap to pinapagawa ng mga tao sa kanila and this, uh, the decision, uh, I mean, the, the decision, the, 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 the statements of, of, of justice, uh, um, uh, of justice, uh, Mario yeah. yeah. of course, was, was very, I, I think, was, was, was uh, very sympathetic and uh, I think can, uh, can, can actually be part of the of the argumentation of the Supreme Court when it makes uh, when it when it finally makes its decision. No wonder uh, authority start Lamparo is asking <laughs> for it to be <laughs> 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 uh, that statement already <laughs> seems to uh, give a glimpse, of course, to the yeah. other side on how but, this justice, but, Justice Leonel, of course, <laughs> might. Uh, uh, decide on the issue, even if um, not all the uh, 
issues have been uh, mm. um, uh, ventilated yes. because in oral arguments actually all the issues are scheduled to be yes. uh, argued in the oral yeah. arguments however okay let, let, let's just put it to proper uh, legal perspective yes. here because yes. after all uh, the matter is really legal okay uh -huh. maganda yung statement of course in yes. justice Leon, okay uh -huh. and for the uh, for, for those who <laughs> have that kind of mindset they would really yeah. rally behind that kind of yes. uh, of uh, thinking yeah however let us be very clear that the case filed okay uh, by uh, grace po to the supreme court uh, is a petition under uh, rule uh, 65, 65 which is uh, uh, which only questions whether or not the COMELEC in rendering yes. their decisions their question decisions yes. acted in, in grave abuse, abuse of discretion, of discretion. Yes. only that that is yes. they, that's the only question that's the only yeah. question of law that needs to be uh, yeah. decided upon by the yeah. supreme court because the supreme court in that kind of uh, uh, remedy rule yes. 65 they will not be able to rule on, rule the, on the facts yes. okay? they cannot be trier of facts yeah. as we know that because if uh, if we if he insists on that, yeah, but I see, <laughs> but I see, I am a feeling, you know, the, 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 remember that the rule that the Supreme Court is a final arbiter. Nobody questions the Supreme Court. Of course, of course. <laughs> but they have to find a way. Okay, assuming, assuming that they will have to digress from that, uh, that uh, long tested, uh, yeah. you know, uh, a doctrine or principle in jurisprudence where the Supreme Court is never a trial of facts, yes. uh, uh, disposes of the issues of law, law questions yes. of law. Um, since the only issue that needs to be decided here is uh, whether or not uh, the, the, the COMELEC okay, uh, acted with great abuse of discretion when they mm -hmm. rendered their decisions, then uh, the, I'm sure that the lawyers of Graceful will try to uh, um, pull you yeah. know, certain factual uh, findings. Yeah. Okay? Some some factual uh, findings that they want to point out as a manifestation yeah. of how the Comelec yes. gravely abused yes. his discretion. Yes. Will, they will limit their uh, argumentation. Definitely on that. that. But they yes. but uh, uh, without of course presenting those yes. facts as if as if those facts need to be retried. Yes. <laughs> you know yeah. that's that's where the thin line really uh, yes. you know come. Uh, comes into the picture because it's so difficult especially if you are not as sharp you know, yes. as a razor uh, to uh, um, lay up some factual yeah. points into a yeah. uh, that really is interesting yeah, to, to really uh, wait for yes. how this uh, yeah. controversy is really unfolds but I think this, this case has already raised you know a, a lot of expectations on the part of the public yes because yes. this is because you know when it, when, even you, you you read it in, in newspapers mm. and, and the journalists have been talking about how excited we should be on this case because of its importance right in, right. in the interpretation of our of, of the of the our constitutional of the constitutional provision on uh, on uh, on not only on the qualification of candidates mm. for the presidency, but also on citizenship. Yeah. yeah. And if, if, if the uh, uh, lawyers of Grace Book can point out that the Comelec exercised uh, its uh -huh. uh, jurisdiction uh, with grave abuse yes. by uh, making a pronouncement yes. as to the citizenship, then. Yeah. Uh, Do you think there was grave like abuse of discretion at all? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, at least the Supreme Court doesn't make that excuse. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, let's continue our discussion on Grace Post petition to the Supreme Court. Of course, questioning the decisions of the Comelec, uh, the two decisions, right? Yes. Of uh, Comelec Division 1 and 2 with respect to her qualification as a candidate for President of the Republic of the Philippines come this election 2016 May. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, after this very short break, uh, please don't uh, touch your time.